Now, if you've been shopping for an affordable device and you want to go with a prepaid company such as Metro by T-Mobile, you guys need to watch this video and consider the Nokia G310 5G because this phone has a great deal for Metro by T-Mobile. So in this video, I will do unboxing, review the phone, show you every aspect on the phone like the camera, the performance and so many things. And this is a variety stick. Make sure to subscribe if you have and give me a thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's find out. First, let me explain the price, especially if you want to go with Metro by T-Mobile, because the phone available for a new customer for absolutely free. Rather, if you want to start a new number or if you want to bring your number from a different provider, so the phone is totally free. You just have to pay the first month and activation fee. So always check your local Metro store for all this information. Now, if you've been with Metro and you're qualified for upgrade, meaning you purchase phone after six months, you should be able to get the upgrade great discount which is $130. The retailer price of the phone if you're willing to buy the phone unlock is going to be between $200 to $230. That depends where you purchase the phone from. Now let's take a quick look on the main specification and let me begin in the display. We have IPS LCD with 90Hz refresh rate and this is promising and this is what we expect from a phone with this range of price. The resolution unfortunately is going to be 720p at the ratio for the screen 20 by 9, the amount of PPI 269, so the display is not the best thing in this device. For the operating system, we have Android 13, and normally Nokia use stock Android. For the hardware, we have a Snapdragon from Qualcomm, we have 480 support 5G, which is, in my opinion, this is a decent processor. It's octa-core, provide decent performance, which is, I'm going to show you that later on on this video. Now, the memory in the phone, 128 gigabyte of storage. You can add SD card with 4 gigabyte of RAM, and I believe this is very reasonable for a phone within the same price. Now coming to the camera, we have the main sensor, 50 megapixel, wide camera with AI. There's going to be a lot of artificial intelligence to this camera, which is, it seems to me, very uh, promising. And the second camera will be macro, and we have another camera, total of three cameras on the back. It's going to be the depth sensor. Also, the phone is able to record video at 1080 with 60 FPS which is good because the previous phone I have seen this year, all of them not able to do 60 FPS, which is a plus for this Nokia device. The front facing camera is eight megapixel wide, 1080 for the video at 30 FPS. I believe not many people use the front camera for video, so it makes sense to make it lower specification. And finally, the battery 5000. In this phone supports 20 watt of quick charging and you guys are not gonna expect to get the charger with the phone, only it's gonna be the USB cable, which is I'm gonna show you right now when we do the unboxing. And now let's get to the unboxing, show you the phone, what inside the box, and give you my first impression. As you guys can see, this box is made out of cardboard, so a very cheap material. But according to Nokia, this is eco-friendly uh, box, which is always nice to see a box made to be eco-friendly. So we have seal on the back. Let me just go ahead and open it. I have already explained the main specification, so we don't need to go over the main specification again. Let me go ahead and open this box. First thing we're going to see, the phone wrapped in a paper. Uh, wrap as you guys can see it used to be plastic so they don't use plastic anymore and I believe they're trying to justify not to give you a charger because they want to be eco-friendly uh, which is, does not make sense for me here you go so here is the phone the color is blue and the phone look nice you guys will expect to be a plastic it's kind of shiny but I believe fingerprint won't be magnet on the back of the phone, which is nice in my opinion. So we have dedicated fingerprint on the side with the power key, volume up, down key. Very typical for most of Android phones these days. Here is the SIM tray where you insert SIM card and the SD card. We have noise canceling mic and we have C-type microphone and speaker and also a headphone jack. So the phone feels nice in the hands and the look of the phone 
uh, kind of cheap that because it's a plastic belt you guys are not gonna expect also wireless charging let me set this on the side and move to the other content in the box so we're gonna have the manual instruction also the manual is very tiny I believe people don't really use uh, or read manuals anymore and we also have a sim ejector tool let me see if I can open this and we have a uh, C type cable to charge the phone and let me just check it's C to C end as you guys can see and we have also a sim ejector tool it's gonna be right here that's very much it for the box we're gonna turn the phone on spend time with it and come back with more details so stay tuned and don't go away 2000 years later now let me kick off with the design and build construction. I don't have much to add for you. The build of the phone is plastic. The phone doesn't feel premium. It's a plastic build at the end. This is affordable device, so I don't have much complaint here. The phone has a round curve over here. Help you to grab the phone with no any issues. It's not gonna give you any pain with your hand, which is nice. And also the fingerprint, they're not magnet, which is a plus for this uh, device. Fingerprint located on the side of the phone I realize if you just touch like this it takes time but if you click with your finger on the right spot it unlocks faster so I would prefer just to click even though that's not something I like but it is what it is if you don't like fingerprint you can always set up face unlock with a device and this phone also meant to be water brilliant means you can't submerge the phone in the water but the phone could take a splash of water Unfortunately, the phone does not have a stereo speaker. The only speaker is gonna fire from the bottom and this just only to make phone calls. So the sound system on the phone is not too shabby. Now for the display, as expected, this is IPS LCD with low amount of PPI and low resolution, but you won't be disappointed with the display in my opinion. The angle of view and the brightness level are so decent, plus you have 90 Hz refresh rate. So I would say that display is not the best thing on this phone, but it will be acceptable. Now for the operating system, the phone has Android 13 and you guys will expect a stock experience because the phone has only Google applications, phone, text messages, a Chrome, and nothing else added to the phone unless if you go to Google Play Store and you start downloading your apps you guys are gonna see just regular stock Android with some shortcut toggles as you guys can see over here and you have the option to activate so easily from those toggles there's nothing much to talk about the software but I have to say the software is very optimized with the hardware I haven't noticed any lags delay or problems in the performance for the operating system now for the hardware performance, I don't think so you will be disappointed with the Nokia G310 that because the performance was great after downloading several games, playing even heavy games, the graphics like Asphalt 9, I did not see any frame drops or any problem. That also because the phone go with 720 resolution, so more optimizing for the hardware with the software helps a lot. Low resolution also give you a nicer experience because they require less processing for the processor. Uh, with 128 gigabyte storage, I believe you should be able to download so many apps and games with no issues. With 4 gigabyte of RAM, it should be enough for a phone like this. So in the performance, I do not have any complaints whatsoever, and I believe you should be able to play any video games you want with no issue. Now speaking of the battery, battery gives me stunning performance, over 14 hours screen on time. As I said again, this phone is not powerful with the processor and the brightness level and the screen in general. So you guys are not going to expect to consume a lot of power. But put in your mind, after using the phone for one year, the performance of the battery is going to gradually start declining and is not going to be strong as the first day you purchase the phone and this is a brand new phone of course the phone gave me a great performance for the battery and you guys will expect to charge the phone from 0% to 100% within hour and 40 minutes and this is decent time in my opinion that because the phone support 20 watt of a quick charging but make sure you purchase the charger separately the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video will be the camera and I'm very surprised with the camera performance because as I said in the beginning of the video the camera has artificial intelligence, the software helped the hardware to come up with good 
pictures taking pictures in different situation especially outdoor when you have enough light absolutely you get the best experience portrait pictures was great in this device and also the phone will give you the right distance between the object and the camera when you capture the portrait pictures to come up with the best results I was very satisfied the phone has the ability to give you up to two optical zoom which is good and up to 10 X digital zoom but the picture will be crafted most of the problem I have with the camera when you have dark situation I try in different position I trying to take several pictures I was not able to take good pictures if you have dark situation even I was using the night mode vision but that did not help a lot but it did help for a little bit but if you take in pictures during the night and you have light I believe you should be fine but if you want to go to a very dark situation you don't have enough light then the camera will struggle big time the camera trying to offer so many good features like macro uh, slow motion for the video which is nice even that I believe the slow motion was not too shabby Generally speaking, the camera is way more than what I expected for the back camera and the front facing camera is also a great offer portrait, good pictures. Also, the front facing camera has night mode vision and this is the first time I see something like this in affordable device like the Nokia. So I like the front facing camera on this device. Generally speaking, the camera is amazing, especially the front facing camera and I don't have much complaint. Now just to end the story, if you've been looking for affordable device, shopping around here and there, especially with Metro by T-Mobile, looking for a phone to be free when you switch or start a new number, maybe the Nokia one of the best options. Metro offers so many different phones and they have also great phones you can pick from, but definitely this phone one of them. That was very much it for that video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. As always, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much, we'll talk to you in the next video. Let's go, yeah. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it, fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, gotta 